and I was just like, Caucasians live so nice. Like, where do you find the time to be doing woodwork as a as a side hustle, or is it just like a little project? Like, my God. Caucasians live such nice lives, yes? And I'll tell you why. So there's this lady in my complex, um, she's like newish. And I've noticed that like every afternoon she's in her garage and she's doing like some kind of wood woodwork stuff, right? So then I thought to myself today, um, let me actually stop and ask her if she does this, um, like as, as her profession kind of a thing, because I need a, whatchamacallum? A, uh, a TV unit done, right? So then I stop and I'm like, oh, hi, I'm Mabuto. Um, I live at number whatever I live at. And I was just wondering if you could actually create something like this for me um, for a TV unit. No, wait, I'm lying. I first asked her um, if she does this as like her job. And she's like, no, this is a hobby. And I'm like, oh, is it a paying hobby or is it just for yourself, like personal? She's like, no, just personal projects that I do for fun. I'm like, yeah. And without going into too much boring detail, I show her what uh, what my t what I want my TV unit to look like, and she's like, oh well, yeah, this is a little bit too complicated for me. But and then she gave me like some uh, references where I can go check. But it just got me thinking. I was just like, Caucasians live so nice. Like, where do you find the time to be doing woodwork as a as a side hustle, or is it just like a little project? Like, my God, yo, <laughs> you must be nice. And then the thing is, it's not even like she's at retirement age. Like, she's still youngish. So this is just literally her just coming back from work and just being like, ah, oh, side hustle. Woo! Yeah. It must be nice to find such time. Remember I wanted to be involved in properties. Thanks to top billing for that one. I went to an agency and then I became an intern estate agent. And then I got my FFC certificate. After that, I remember the boss telling me that I needed to have a work phone. I mean, after spending money on that FFC certificate, I did not have the money to purchase a new phone. I remember also him insisting that I needed to have a personal phone and a work phone. And then I told him that, Ish, I don't have the money, bro. He was like, yeah, I'm going to purchase it for you. And then you sign a contract that I gave you a phone. And I was like, that's fine. I can sign a contract that you gave me a phone as long as you purchase it and I don't have to pay for it. So he gave me the work phone that he purchased with his own money and a work SIM card that had a time every month to call clients from that phone. I left that company though, but I still have that phone now, Manje. He did not want it back for some reason. Here's the second thing, right? My boss wanted to purchase a book, like a rental book. This book has houses of white people in it. It's something that I learned about that white people do among themselves. Like he did properties as a side hustle to boost his incomes and also enhances his skills. And I was like, okay. So there was this other agency, right? This girl has a book, this book that he wants that has houses of white people. I'm thinking there are about 30 houses that she manages, like she manages those houses. So my boss approaches her and I'm like, I'm going to give you like half a million for this book. And this lady is like, uh, actually, no, this is my only income at the moment. I cannot sell it to you. And mind you, this lady also has her own profession. Like she's an educator. Tell me when does she get time to educate kids and then manage properties? And by the way, this woman is still very young. Also, she's still very young. She's not old, but my boss is old though. And he's telling me that he's been doing this. So they start this very young. This rental book pays my rent house as my husband was a bank manager and then he lost his job. So apparently he lost his job because he was stealing money at the bank. Allegedly, Mtasi. Allegedly, hey? I mean, that's the rumor that white people were spreading around the office at that time. I mean, like she told my boss, she's paying the bond with that book. It gives her income because it gives her a lot of money. Like that girl made like... Uh, around 100k a month <laughs> and i'm like what i remember also asking a black guy from a different agency though does he know about rental books that you can sell and he was like i don't know what you're talking about i did not want to go into deep conversations with that 
because it's clear that it's a conversation that white people have since most black people in the agencies did not know what i'm talking about i was like yeah i was introduced to another world i was like wow it's so nice to be white yay yeah? i remember also there was this property developer who's white who came to our agency and wanted to talk to our boss and he gave him the apartments that he was developing and he wanted him to rent them out and i was like yeah so yeah it's nice to be caucasian like if you work around them you'd hear a lot of mgozishem the reason i call it the estate book is because it is a code name it is not a direct name that they used to name the book that i'm talking about the book that i'm specifically talking about it is named in afrikaans they did tell me but i forgot the name so instead i gave it an english name and called it an estate book so what this book is is a collection of investors houses or people who just want to rent out their homes who are white people so they give them to an estate agent to manage these houses in a form of rental houses can range between from 1 to 30 or probably more however you need to have managed them long enough for them to accumulate profit for you sort of like an investment portfolio the longer you have the so called management book you can sell it probably between 100 to a million so this is what white people do this is what i've learned from white people and what i also observed from them the property industry is very monopolized and also it's a very complex industry to maneuver as a person of color so without consistency and dedication it becomes very easy for you to be discouraged another thing that you should learn very quickly is that home owners and property investors prefer giving their homes to white people due to the high chances of that property being rented out due to the fact also of other reasons that white people seem to be more trusted by general public some going to the extent of exclusively giving deals specifically to white people as a person of color you won't be making money as quickly as you assume this is why it needs to be something you pursue on the side and you have something that gives you money consistently because it will take time for you to actually penetrate the market property managers are actually on a different level than that of estate agents due to the fact that property managers have a collections of home apartments and so on that they manage for property owners unlike a estate agent who just finds a tenant for that property owner and that they can manage it themselves and then they get a commission they don't earn a commission property managers actually make salaries per month and this is why we say it's very monopolized in a complex industry for this conversation let's say that the property owner wants 8000 rands from you per month the property manager will then tell the tenant that the rent is probably between 8500 or 9000 per year on that single apartment they would be making around 6 to 12000 rands this excludes things like leases and credit checks that they will be doing them managing multiple properties makes them so much money per month